Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mindless, and today we're gonna be going over a 99 room crafting guide for ICOV. So basically, the things you're gonna need before you do this, I recommend getting 99 summoning so you can use a pack yak. Um, also, you're gonna need a giant pouch and a large pouch, and you're gonna want to change your home teleport to get the maximum XP at certification. Make sure you change your home teleport to uh, Keldegrim before you start doing this. So basically once you've done that, if you're wondering where you're going to get your pouches from, the Major Zamrock is literally right there when you teleport home. So literally just teleport him, bring some good melee gear, uh, kill the minions. You will be skulled, but nobody's allowed to attack you down there, so it's easy. Just farm him until you get a giant and a large pouch. And once you've done that, follow the instructions next. Alright guys, first things first, what you want to do is you want to make your way, if your home is sell it to Keldergrim. On the north there is Aubrey here in his little shop. You want to trade him. Before you do this, you're going to want to have a talisman. So he basically sells all your talismans here, just figure out whatever rune you're going to do. I'm going to do air runes in this one just for example, just see the XP rate, so the air rune. And uh, yeah guys, let's go ahead and hop into doing an actual run. Alright guys, so now we're going to hop into the actual inventory setup and what you should bring. So I did air runes, um, just to see how much XP they give. And with the double XP on the weekends, plus vote books, you get about 400,000 XP a run. You make roughly 600 air runes. So I'm going to try with the law talisman since my rune crafting level is 80, I do believe. So I have 80 rune crafting. So I'm going to try to do law talisman and see what the XP is like with that. But for, as far as the inventory setup goes, I bring an axe just so I can chop the tendrils. And then my pack yak is stuff full of pure essence as well, as well as my pouches. So you can make quite a bit of runes. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and hop into the run. So let's head over to the Major Zamrock right now. <clears throat> Alright, so now I have to find some tendrils to chop over here. Let's see, there's some tendrils right there. I think you spawn in the same spot every time as well, so no big deal. Alright, so once you've chopped those, the air runs on the uh, back left side, and I'm trying to find the law one right now. Just to see the XP if you actually do a higher tier rune, if it's even worth doing, or if it's just worth always doing the um, air runes. So no law yet. Probably run around like a dummy. Water. Alright, there's a law rift right there. So we have the talisman. We have our essence. And let's see how much we actually get from this. Twenty-eight thousand XP for laws, so I definitely recommend doing air runes because uh, law runes don't give you anything for XP. And I'll show you what it's like to do air runes in a second as well. So this was basically just a huge waste of time. You would think it wouldn't be since it's a higher tier rune, but um. <clears throat> so there's laws. I don't recommend doing laws. Now let's do an air rune run. Alright guys, so as you can see in the previous clip, laws are trash. So now let's go ahead and do an air rune run. So, repeat the same process. Teleport in. Run over here where the tendrils are. Right to the northeast. Pretty much in the same spot every time, so I don't really worry about trying to find them. Go ahead and get teleported in. Run right up here to the... What is this? South. Okay, to the south. <clears throat> Once you're there, you'll see the air rift. Go ahead in. Be sure you have your talisman. Alright, let's see this XP. 118,000 XP. Empty other things. We even got the Runecrafter hat, so that's pretty dope. And then go ahead and check on our pack yak real fast. Whichever one's mine. Pull out some runes. Craft them up. And boom, 600 air runes, like 400,000 XP, that's the way to go. So now I'm going to speed up some runs and be doing this to 99 rune crafting. I probably won't go all the way to 99, but I'll just speed up a couple so you guys can see how I do it, if you don't really understand everything that I've explained.
All right, guys. So if you enjoyed the video and this helped you get 9 in room crafting, which I hope it did, and maybe some room crafting gear and then the pet, um, be sure to just like the video, guys, if it actually helps you. Um, subscribe to the channel to see my future guides. And um, yeah, dude, that's about it. I hope this helped you guys, and good luck on 9 in room crafting, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.